Hey everybody, it's Lisa, one of the admins at the Silhouette Cameo Beginners Newbie Hangout Group. Um, I was asked by um, one of the fun ladies in our group about making a design. Um, that comes up a lot, especially for newbies. They don't quite know where to start for making designs. So I want to do a real quick one today. Um, it'll actually benefit her, but it'll give you an idea of how to make designs and things like that. Basically what she wanted was the outline of a state to be one color and then a line built around it with a different color and then inside the state is the words of the state so like if I use the state of Ohio make it white make the outline around it black and then do the words in another color so I'm going to show you real quick this is how I do this um, the first thing I'm going to do is go out to Google which I'm here and I typed in the state of Ohio outline so I just want something that's kind of easy to trace. Um, I don't want too many. So like this one right here is actually perfect. Now I'm going to show you if you have design edition, the easiest way to do this is not do that because, you know, don't do that. So you're going to right click, copy, go directly to Sill, right click, and paste. So you don't have to save it and do all that funky stuff. You can also do the same thing with your snippet tool. So like if I was over here, um, say I wanted to trace this one, and if you go down to your snippet tool, which is right here, click New, and select the area you want to copy. Okay, so when this screen comes up, don't save it. Simply right-click, Copy, and you go back to Silhouette, do the same thing, and paste it. Just that easy, okay? All right, so we're going to make this design. First thing I have to do is I have to trace this piece of paper. Basically, when you bring this in from whether it be Google, whether it be something you scanned in, it is not a usable piece or a cuttable piece of design. How you know that is if I click on it and we go to our cut settings, which looks like the marker, it's going to tell me the only thing it's going to cut is the outline. I don't have a design yet. Basically, it's going to cut out the whole sheet of paper. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my bucket. All right, so I'm going to go to my trace function, which it, to me, you've got two options there. It could look like a butterfly or it can look like a piece of toast with jelly on it. Okay, select your trace area. That means what do you want to trace? So I'm simply going to go around the area that I want. I try not to get the complete edges because that's just more work I have to take out later. Okay, so see how jagged this is? <clears throat> this is when you need to go in and turn off your high pass filter. See how it fills that in? Now what I want to do is I want to make this design where it's completely whole. Okay, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Okay, so all I'm going to do at this point, I'm going to hit trace outer edge. That's all I want because I want it to be filled in. Trace outer edge. Okay. Now, how you know you did it right is you click on your design. I'm a very visual person. This is how I see things. So here's my state of Ohio all filled in. Now, what we wanted was a white state of Ohio. So I'm going to make it white. Okay. I'm going to change my line so I can see a little bit better. I'll bring it over here so you guys can see. Okay, so around this line, um, she wanted a black outline. So how you do that is, select your design. You're going to go to your offset button. Click on your offset button. You're going to do offset on the outside. If you do internal <clears throat> offset, it's going to do inside here. We want to do outside, so I'm click offset. See how I have that little line around there? Okay. Well, and when I clicked on that, it already clicked apply, but you would click apply, but we're going to do it again. So I'm going to click again, and I'm going to now do an offset on the line that's right here, the one we just did. Click offset and click apply. So we're going to move the state out, and I need to make this a compound path. Because if I color this in, see what it looks like now? I have two different layers here. If I fill it in and do a compound path, it makes it one piece. Select both pieces. Now watch the magic. Right click, make compound path. Do you see how that happened? So basically what I did was 
I connected the two together. Now they become a permanent piece. It's like taking two pieces of paper and gluing them together with like super glue. Put the state of Ohio back. Now the easiest way to line this up is to select everything that's on the screen. So I've got my black outline and my white state. And you're gonna go up here to, to me it looks like an airplane and it's your align window. Align it to the center and align it to the middle and it's gonna make all your edges perfect. It, it was years before anybody told me this little tidbit. I had no idea. So remember to go to your align window. Okay, so the final part of this is she wanted to put words in the middle. So here is Ohio. And I wanna make that red. So you go to your paint bucket and choose your color, okay? Then I'm going to go and find a really cool font. I have way too many. Okay, this one's called All Star 4. And then there's the design. So if I were to cut this design, okay, I would have three components. I would cut this line. Then I would cut the white. And then I would cut the red. But what you have to do before you do all of that is you're going to do these little registration marks here. So there's one there. I'm going to copy and paste. And then there's one there. Now what you're going to do with these is every time you cut a layer you take the registration marks with you because when you go to finally have everything cut and layer design in order to layer it, you need these registration marks. That's a whole other video, okay? But that's how you would do that. So with the registration marks, I'll show you, and it's not your typical registration marks. We should call them like alignment marks. Maybe we should call it that. So I'm gonna select these two, and I'm going to hit Control or Shift and collect my black line. And then I'm just gonna simply hit Copy and Paste. So when I cut that, I'm going to be cutting that piece. Do the same thing again. Select the two alignment marks. Click Shift and choose the white. Copy and paste. And then when I cut that, see how that's going to work? And then I'll do this again. And except I'll hit Shift and take the Ohio. Copy and paste. So when I cut, everything's going to be cut like this. Now you don't necessarily have to do it for the Ohio if you don't want to. Think about how much red vinyl or HTV you're gonna be wasting. You could always just eyeball that if you wanted to, okay? Just a heads up. So then when you go to cut this, these little marks will cut out. You just have to make sure that when you're in your cut settings window that that color is turned on. If I uncheck this, it will not cut my, my little alignment marks there. So we're gonna put those back, okay? So then when you go to layer this, basically what you're going to do is you're going to have the, so this is when it's all cut. The first part you're going to lay down is going to be the black outline. After the black outline, you're going to put the white on top of it. And what you'll be doing with your um, transfer tape and your design, see so you're just going to lay these on top of one another. And then when they line up, that means you've done it right. Same thing with Ohio. All you're lining up really is the little alignment marks. That's all that you're doing, okay? It is no different if you have it laying out there on transfer tape and you've weeded everything. You're just gonna layer basically the register or the alignment marks is basically what we should call those, okay? If you guys have any questions, give me a holler. You can always reach me on the Silhouette Cameo Beginner Newbies Hangout page. Um, you can message me, whatever you guys need to do. Hopefully this video will help some of you um, do some basics of starting with design. I will holler at you later. Have a good night. Bye-bye.